Hello and welcome back to my Let's Play of Dark Cloud 1. So I'm going to go ahead and do some Georama very fast. Uh, so far, let's see. Okay, I don't think I have this yet. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Uh, but I do have the small windmill. So I can place that down. I think it goes like that. Uh, let's go ahead and add those to it. Um, and right now I don't feel like placing down the bridge, river, road, or tree parts. So, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll check around this for any treasure chests very fast. Yeah, I didn't think that there would be. Anyways, I'm gonna head into the dungeon after I save. Okay, into B14 with 8 Atla. I was gonna do some treasure hunting and stuff, but I decided to hold off until I get more Atla to place down. Um, also, I now know how to switch between characters. It's actually really simple. Uh, I just needed to find out what button to press. I looked it up online. Anyways. Uh, oh, and there's one other thing. I got the map, that's awesome. Uh, so, if I go into weapons, I forgot about the, that I had gotten the Bone Rapier here, and you can see that its base stats are actually pretty decent, uh, you know, with 15 attack versus uh, 8 or 22. I mean, it's not as strong as the dagger is for the moment, but it could easily catch up to the dagger, and that's even uh, without, you know, all the upgrades I've given the dagger so far. So let me go ahead and actually put some stuff on this, because I'm going to start using this in the near f future. Uh, just because. Let me straighten that up very fast. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to point that out. I'm not going to use it right now. Because, you know, I want to get through this dungeon. Hopefully find some good attachments for it before I upgrade it. Oh, I need to upgrade the the other thing. Let me check what, uh... And not upgrade, but repair it. I suppose I could add these two to it. Yeah, let's upgrade. Upgrade confirmed. I'll repair it now as well. There we go. Now let's get this. Hopefully it'll start giving me, like, the houses and stuff that I need. Small windmill 2 acquired? Okay, cool. What about this? The magic crystal already? Wow. I've been getting kind of lucky. I mean, I didn't really need the magic crystal that badly, but it's always nice to have it. Oh, boy. You know what? Let's switch over to Zhao. Have her take care of this problem. And whatever this is, yeah. Come on, you. Good. And now back over to Toen. I'll have him take care of the other enemy in this room. Cabin acquired, huh? Oh, I thought that would do it. I don't know why I thought that would do it. Uh, I had this camera is fighting me. There we go. It really does like to do that. Another house part? Laura's house, cool. I think I even have that character. You know, amongst the diorama parts. On this house. Awesome. Hey, you. Ah! Wait a second. Did it do zero damage? Did I read that right? Huh. River acquired, okay. And... What's this gonna be? I noticed that large treasure chest. That makes me a little bit excited. Dran's bone. Um, oh boy. Maybe I'm not as excited anymore. You know what? Let's have Xiao take care of this. No point in uh, risking things. There we go. 
Awesome. Thank you, Zhao. That was very helpful. I can switch back over to him. Although, maybe I should have stayed as Zhao. You know, and I'll, uh, the reason why is because I'm coming up to one of those pits that she has to cross. Uh, right over here. But I can do that in a little bit. Going this way first. Okay, you. Ah! I definitely don't like fighting these guys. At least in uh, close quarters like this. Oh, cool. Dran's Crest, huh? I noticed that there aren't any, uh... Ponds in this particular version of the dungeon. You know, this particular floor or whatever. Unless I somehow get a, uh... Tram whale. And it leads to that. You know what? I'm gonna have Zhao take care of these guys. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I suppose I used up my bread. Not the... You know, it's not terrible that I did that, though. So let's go ahead and customize, make sure that the things I want on it are there. And upgrade. Confirm, yes I will. Okay, awesome. Now let's uh, add some more stuff. So she could use a fire and a holy, I guess. Yeah, just for now. And then let's put a another piece of bread into the inventory slot there. Straighten that up as well. Okay, good. Now, hopefully, gotta keep an eye on my endurance levels. They're not doing too bad. There's a bit of a difference there as far as, like, what the amount is that you lose. Like, when Toen attacks the dragons, he loses, like, five endurance or whatever. Or she's only losing one each time. A little bit helpful to know that. What? I did not mean to jump back. I suppose that could happen, though, if you're not careful. I need to move away. And then do that. Okay, good. Get this treasure chest. I'm thinking I might defeat all the enemies in this next room with her. Just because I can. Now I'm glad that I did. Okay, I lost two endurance that time, so I've got to be careful. Not to accidentally lose a ton of endurance all of a sudden. Uh, let's use a repair powder. Okay. And get rid of this bat. And this bat. And that's it as far as enemies are concerned. So let's switch back to Toen. Have him get this Atla first. The main reason why I switched back to him. Tricycle. Uh, what about this? Bombs. Okay, cool. Now I can exit this dungeon and do some Giorama. Okay, so first things first, let's place down some parts. Oh, I managed to get everything, huh? So, small windmill 2. I imagine I'm going to be rearranging some of these small windmills that I'm placing down, along with everything else. But, uh, I'll place that there for now. And put this onto there. And this onto there. Now let's go ahead and put Dran's Blades onto this. There's an event there now. Almet's House. I'm kind of running out of room with how sloppily I'm placing everything. Let's put this here for now. And then I'll put this back here like this. There we go. Now I'm going to add some stairs and some characters. So Allnet's baby brother. Yeah. And then Allnet. And what's this? A four-legged chain friend. Okay, yeah, it's the llama. Now there should be another house somewhere, right? Yeah, Laura's house. Let's go ahead and put it right here, I guess. Now let's add a fence. A lamp. Aunt Laura. 
and Gina, who I'm assuming goes there, yep. And now, I'm going to go ahead and hop down to talk to the characters. I'll start with Allnut's house. Uh, there's some treasure chests around as well, so tasty water acquired. Nice to see that. Ah, camera got stuck. Prickly acquired. And I'll, I guess I'll go into the top floor first. I think that there was an entrance to the bottom floor. Uh, there. Oh. Doesn't look like you can climb up. Well, what's the point of telling me about that then? Plant Puster. And Dina Slayer. I didn't even see that. I was trying to talk to her. Oh, it's you, Toen. So, you were okay? I was locked in some weird thing. I, uh, but I don't really remember much. Anyway, good to know we're both safe. Hello. Say, Toen, you know what? Carl's always getting in trouble and annoying me. Like yesterday, he... Uh, oops, sorry. I think that he really enjoys annoying people. How should I rebuild Narune? You know, those muscle brothers. Just not my type. So, in other words, don't place her house near the Muscle Brothers, the uh, Macho Brothers order. Uh, what will happen when it's done? Once I helped Uncle Pike move into his new house, and he gave me this, but I don't really use it. I can't throw it in the garbage, so I'll give it to you. How's that? Tell me I'd rebuild your house. I'd like a lamp at the front door. It gets scary and dark at night. Okay. So, I'll go outside... There's one more character here who I have to talk to. There was an entrance to the house at the lower level. Uh, Mimi. Okay. Fruit of Eden. I noticed that door. I'll go to it in a bit. A gourd. And, okay, I can't interact with that. I should have interacted with the llama, though. La. Is there anything I can do with that? Okay. Just clicking on everything there. I still haven't found uh, the other character. Hey, Toen Bro, you're in one piece. I thought you were dead. Hello. That poncho is looking good on you. Someday I'm gonna ask for one of those cool ponchos, too. How should I rebuild Narune? I don't know. What will happen when it's done? Hmm. Ask my sister. Tell me how to rebuild your house. I'd like my storage cabin with my treasures inside back again. That sounds reasonable enough. I'll do that in a bit. In fact, I'll do that right now. So, let's add that. And that. Now, I suppose I should enter the top floor. Since I imagine that's where the event will occur. Yep. Ah, Toen, there you are. I keep my promises, just a moment. Okay. What you doing? Here, a fishing rod as I promised. Oh! Oh! That's a really nice present. Uh, thank you very much. I got this from Uncle Pike, but I don't really use it. Now it's yours. Hey, don't tell Uncle Pike, okay? How do you use it? I don't really know, sorry. Ah, oh, sis, that's not fair. Didn't I tell you I always wanted that? What are you talking about? <laughs> Look at Toen's face. You almost drowned in the pond once, remember? I'm not allowing you to fish. It's too dangerous. What the? Uh, that's not fair. Okay. Well, sorry uh, that I took your fishing rod. Is it in my inventory? I hope it's not actually in my inventory. It is. And I... I can't do anything with it, I don't think. Uh, just sitting there. I don't like it when that, that happens, but it happens a lot in, you know, 
this game and Dark Cloud 2 and stuff. It's finished. Now tell Uncle Pike that I gave you the fishing rod, okay? Okay, I won't. I'm hoping that I get the chance to talk to uh, the kid again, Carl. It's finished. My sister didn't give it to me. It's not fair. Okay, now there should probably be something inside of Dran's windmill. Because uh, it said there was an event. Yeah. And... Yeah. Okay, cool. Let me get this horned key. What does that do? Key to enter Dran's room. Oh, I needed to do this to... Uh, am I understanding that right? I needed that in order to be able to enter, like, the last room of the dungeon or something? I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case, because uh, that kind of thing happened in Dark Cloud 2 as well, where there was sometimes items like that that you needed. Anyways, as far as I can tell, that's the only treasure chest in this place, but it could be that there's something else. Nope. Let's get out of here. There's still uh, another character's house that needs to be upgraded. Uh, Laura's house. So let's go over to it, wherever it might be, right here. And speed plus three is acquired. Gourd is acquired. That's good to know. Finding some nice items here. Let's go inside. See if we can talk to some of these people. Ooh, tasty water. Uh, anything over here? No. Uh, there is an item there and there, though. Fruit of Eden? Okay, good. And power-up powder. Ah, Toen, I found you. How come you don't play with me anymore? Hello. I've decided to marry Toen. That's it. It's final. Toen, we'll be together forever. Okay. How should I rebuild Nerone? Um, I don't care. What will happen when it's done? Hmm. I'll give you this pretty feather I found on the ground the other day. It almost sounds like one of those, uh, ones that speed you up in the dungeon. Tell me how to rebuild your house. Don't forget Gina's tricycle. Uh, put it outside the house, please. Gina? Okay, but her name is... Xena, so... Is there another character here named... Whatever. Oh, it's you, Toen. How did you make it? Were you stuck inside that strange bubble, too? Hello. Gina seems to be very fond of you. She's fast, just like me. Ha. Huh. How should I rebuild Nerone? The, lous the lousy mayor of ours, he's always fiddling with machines in his house. I can't stand the noise from his house. I'd appreciate it if you can place our house away from the mayor's house. Okay, so... In other words, opposite. Uh, what will happen when it's done? Gina's quick to run away lately. I wonder what's going on with her. Tell me how to rebuild your house. We have lots of stuff around the house. I'd like a storage cabin for storing the clutter. Okay, let's, so, oops. let's go ahead and do this. And this. Now there's an event there. So let's go inside and claim our prizes. Oh, Toen! Look, look! Gina's house! It's back to normal! Impressive. I thought you were only a kid, and now look at you. I will cook for you today. Please stay with us for a meal. Here, take this for you, Toen. Is it going to be one of those... Yeah, trans feather. That's what I thought. Isn't this pretty? If you keep this, your body will become light. Set it to active item and bring your cursor over it. Hold down square as you move and you can move faster. Oh, you have to hold it down? So, like, 
it's only active as long as you're pressing it down or something? This way, even Mom won't be able to catch you. That's an interesting mechanic if that's true. Let's go back inside. There might be something uh, new, yeah. That's what I thought. Bread. Let's talk to her. It's finished. Drop by our house anytime. You'll always be welcome here. Uh, it's finished. If I find anything on the ground again, I'll give it to you. Okay, so now I've got to figure out the layout that they want because I believe that that's everything. Uh, unless uh, there's more parts in the dungeon. Let me see. Collection 100%, complete 100%, request 37%. So the requests are what I need to figure out. Um, actually, before I do that, I want to look at the items that I've collected so far. In particular, uh, the Fruits of Edens and the Gourds. So I want to use one of these on Toen and one on Zhao, and then one gourd on Toen, and one on Zhao. And then this way they're both, you know, almost even with each other. And is there anything else? Uh, okay, no. Now it's time to figure out the Giorama stuff. Okay, so what I'm thinking is that I will try to work my way down, starting with my house and, you know, figuring out what each person wants. So I remember vaguely that uh, Toen's mother wanted the house to face a certain direction, and I'm still not entirely sure what that direction is yet, but I'll just look at the Giorama analysis as I turn it around uh, slowly. Okay, so that was the correct way to face it. Uh, so she probably wants the house on this side of town. Uh, just based on what I'm seeing, I should probably move the river parts out of here. There we go, my house placed down right there. Uh, the next house on the list is Macha's house. Uh, right here. Now, I'm gonna have to talk to them to get an idea of exactly what they want. Uh, how should I rebuild Nerone? I'd like the house to be someplace where I don't have to go far for a good workout. Okay, I'm pretty sure they're implying placing down near the dungeon. Uh, cause, yeah, fighting is what a man should live for. It's a basic fact of life, right? Yeah, I remember him saying that now. Uh, so let's go ahead and place them down near the dungeon and see if that works. Okay, so I can't figure out where I'm supposed to play Macho's house. I'm gonna go ahead and work on Laura's house now. Uh, I already forgot what she said that she wanted. How should I rebuild Nerune, that lousy mayor of ours? Okay, so she wants her house as far away from the mayor as possible. Right there should do, right? Yeah, 62%, good. Next up is Paige's house. Let's check that out very fast. How should I rebuild Nerone? You know I like fishing, don't you? Okay. Uh, so I should set him up near the fishing pond. I'm gonna move Gaffer's buggy out of the way. Put Paige's house right there. Did that do it? 75%, good. Next up is Claude's house. Uh, so I'll go talk to him very fast. Finally found you, Claude. How should I rebuild Nerone? Yes, excellent. All Nets always the best cook. Okay, so maybe I should place him next to All Nets house? Where is that? Oh, there it is. So I should place his house next to All Nets. I think what I'll do is I'll place it over here somewhere. Uh, move that tree out of the way very fast. And then place this house right here followed by Allnet's house over here. 87%, awesome. Next up is Hag's house. Uh, I think that I already did that. And in fact, to prove it, I'm gonna move Hag's house over here very fast. Okay, so that did not lower the request rating. I'll just leave it over there though anyways. Allnet's house. Uh, so 
I gotta go talk to Allnet now. How should I rebuild Nurine? <sighs> I am glad. Those huge muscles really freak me out. Okay, so I must have already, uh, solved that problem. Gaffer's buggy. Okay, so, talking to Gaffer here. How should I rebuild Nurune? I have many more customers lately. I am very grateful to you, so I must have solved that problem too. Uh, so I'm guessing that the only one I need to figure out is Macha's house. How should I rebuild Nurune? That cave is full of monsters now. I know Dran doesn't like it, but it's really exciting for me. I always like a good challenge. How should I rebuild Nurune? Yeah, it's good. The cave's tough lately. Toen's, uh, Toen fighting with weapons is not the way to go. Only hand-to-hand -hand is true battle. Okay, so I can now actually assume that I've fulfilled the requests of all the people in these houses, but there's something I'm not doing correctly. Uh, I think what it might be is that I need to place down, like, the other parts, like the tree and river parts and stuff. I could go talk to the mayor as well, uh, just to make sure that, uh, you know, I've got all that, so give me a second, I'm gonna place this over here, I don't know why, but it didn't look right over there. So let's go talk to the mayor and then, uh, then, uh, place down the other parts. He doesn't say anything new. Since the mayor has nothing new to say, now I'm gonna go ahead and place down these other parts and hopefully... Uh, this will actually be the answer that I'm looking for. Was it right? No. You know who I didn't talk to after I uh, thought I finished the thing uh, is her. So how should I rebuild Nerone? Thank you, Toen. Now the sun tells me it's morning. Okay, so it's not her. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna actually look up what the last 13 percent is because I have no idea. Okay, I now know what I need to do. So I basically need to continue the story to get that last bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and head on into the Divine Beast Cave. B15, Divine Beast Dran's Chamber. Okay, cool. I wasn't sure if there was gonna be more levels to the uh, dungeon or not. So, I mean, it's not too surprising that there weren't. Look at that. That's pretty neat. Anyways, uh, there's a, okay, yeah, you're supposed to use an item here. Just like I thought. Horn key. Key to enter Dran's room. Ooh, that's neat. And cutscene. I'm assuming that's Dran. Uh, I even recognize him from when you, like, start up the game. Toen is, uh, riding on top of him. Be careful, Toen. Seems that Dran is being manipulated. Then there's no choice but to fight him. Use your power to break the spell. Okay. Shall do. Divine Beast Dran. Okay. Uh. How am I gonna attack him? Huh? Oh no! Uh, am I dead? No. Okay, as long as I'm not dead. But I do think that I need to switch over to Zhao. Uh, based off of that. So, how much damage does that do? Uh, oh boy. Okay. Okay, it's only doing like one point of damage each time. 
Uh, let's switch over to Towen. Okay, 19 points. That's better than uh, the amount that she was doing. But he's flying again, so I have to hit him again. Um, okay, let's switch back to Towen. Oh boy. Hmm. I may have to uh, do a lot of switching in this fight. Here we go. At least there is a strategy I can use. Although that keeps getting me. I don't like that. Okay, switch back to her. And... There we go. And then switch back to him. And... Attack. Okay, I can't do it twice. Maybe I should use charge attacks with him? Let me see. That might work. And... 34 points of damage? I'd say that that's worth it. Although I've got to keep an eye on the weapon durability there, but... Should work out just fine. Come on, you. And... Oh, good. Oh, boy. Uh, I'm not gonna risk it. I'll use a repair powder. And straighten up my inventory there. I wonder if I could hit him from the ground level. Probably not. You know, with Toen. Because his charge attack does kind of go up into the air. It's interesting how he always comes back down after you hit him once. You can definitely exploit that. So, by switching quickly between the two, and then doing that, and then switching back... Uh, oh boy. Am I in trouble? Yeah, I was in a little bit of trouble there. Uh, maybe I... Maybe I got a different pattern from him that time. Maybe he's close to dying. Hey, you. Switch back to Toen again. Okay. Uh, what's he doing? Oh. The God of Beasts. Defeated. What has happened to me? And who are you? What? You say I was being manipulated? I, Dran, the god of beasts. What an embarrassment. Hey, kid. Sorry about that. Hmm. I see. So that's what's been happening on Earth. The Dark Genie. That's what the old man, the Fairy King, called it. If that's the case, we might be in trouble. I've heard that name before. Long ago, a monster called Black Demon appeared in East Terra. The creature caused massacres after massacre, and almost brought the world to an end. Neither the most gallant knights nor the most powerful of sorcerers could stand before the horror of the creature, much less harm it. Its power seemed as vast as the limitless power of genies. Thus people started to call it the Dark Genie. It wiped out nearly all of the known kingdoms of the world. Ultimately, only a few people survived on Earth. Then, when all seemed lost, a tribe called the Moon People created an enormous urn that could seal tremendous magical power and trap the Dark Genie inside. The world recovered, and peace was restored. The world was saved by the Moon People and their mastery of the magical arts. That's about all I know. If you want to go after the Dark Genie, you'd better have the Moon People on your side. I hear that the Moon People live quietly deep in the woods, in a place located beyond the Matataki village. 
the Matataki village is just south of the Narune village. Why not go there first? Okay, sure. Odd that the fairy king who never liked humans gave a kid like you the power of that stone. He's got something up. Oh well, I can use some fresh air for a change. Hop on my back. I'll give you a lift outside. Hmm. Making me suspicious of the fairy king now. Anyways, thanks for the lift. I mean, he did help us to at least restore Nerone Village. And give us the power to restore other places. But. Hmm. Here we are. I appreciate your work, kid. I don't have a clue just how powerful this dark genie is, but it was powerful enough to control me. Be prepared and take this along with you. World map acquired. Nice. This is no plain world map, kid. It's a magical map that takes you to the, pl uh, to the places you point to instantly. Oh wow, that's nice. First, use this map to go to the land of Matataki Village. I hear that the moon people, the people live deep in the in the wise owl forest, Black. Once you reach Matataki, first thing, visit Great Treant. Follow the river and you'll find him. He might look a bit weird, but he takes good care of people. He is sure to give you a hand. So long. See you, dude. Bye. So that should finish uh, the analysis, right? Yeah, 100%. Awesome. We Okay, I'm going to save and then I'm going to look for treasures. Oh, something occurred. I'll save after this. I wasn't expecting a cutscene when I got a little bit closer to the village. <laughs> he's coming back out. I guess he's going to give me something else, too. Kind of uh, fitting, I suppose. Way to go, kid. The villagers are happy now. I realize what the old man, Simba, saw in you. You just might be able to beat the Dark Genie. As a reward, I will teach you a special technique. The Lethal Windmill Slash. Oh? So what, I now have a different ability to use with the... Yeah. Oh wow! Now, I didn't remember anything like that at all. Windmill Slash Mastered. It is a powerful charge skill that causes damage to all enemies near you. Charge with the circle button and release it after you flash two times, okay? Be careful, though. It eats up weapon HP very fast. Yeah, I'm not surprised by that. Well, that's all I can do for now. So long, kiddo. See ya, Dran. Thanks for the new ability. So, obviously, it is in my best interest to restore all of the locations to 100% uh, each time because of stuff like that happening. I wonder if there are any more abilities that you can get. I doubt it. I mean, well, at least I doubt it for uh, him. Maybe for some of the other characters, though. So I'll save, and then I'll uh, look for treasure. Repair powder. Okay, other than a single repair powder, I wasn't able to find anything else. Uh, so if I select this, thanks to you, I'm feeling good these days. You're such a nice boy, Toan. Uh, can I check in some items? I want to check in... Uh, some of this stuff. So I'm going to put one of the Dran Feathers in there. Uh, I am going to pull out the fishing bait that I've gotten. Uh, because I want to uh, fish here. I'm going to put the uh, Power Up Powder in here. I'm going to put some of these Inferno Gems in here as well. I don't need this many on me. I'm going to go ahead and check out the fishing very fast. Uh, just because I'm interested in seeing what's going on with that. 
Okay, before I even attempt to fish, I'm going to look at the uh, tutorial here. Watch the floater movement. When it sinks under the water, press the X button and sink with it. If your timing is right, you'll catch a fish. The main thing is I now know how to do the other. So let's check out the fishing log. Doesn't tell me anything yet. Let's select fish. And see what I can catch. Uh, so I'll start with a prickly. Toss it in the water here. And then keep an eye on the, uh, the thing there. Make sure that I press X once it goes underneath the water. Hmm, that, that didn't work out. There we go. Gotcha. Gummy, 54 centimeters cut. Fishing points, plus 13. Total points, plus 13. Record, 54. Okay. Let's do, let's do this a couple more times. And this time it's a Nyler, 54 centimeters. Fishing points plus 18, so now I have a total of 31. And I can do this again. And this one's a pretty big one, 90 centimeter gummy. Plus 27 points, cool. And another big one, 80 centimeters this time. Plus 23 points adds up to 81. Seems like there aren't any more. I wonder if I can get them to respawn. Okay, yeah, I can. It's just by exiting and then re-entering the fishing uh, thing. So I'm gonna fish a little bit more. And another fairly large one. Gobbler, 84 centimeters. Fishing points plus 11. It wasn't that many points that time though. So I've used up all of my prickly bait. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use some baton. Here we go. A gummy 68. Plus 18, I now have over 100 points, which is mainly what I was aiming for, but I'm going to still fish a little bit more. Okay, another gobbler. Those don't give out very many points, unfortunately. And this time it's a Nyler. At least I got some decent, you know, fishing points that time. I'm going to switch over to a different bait because I just ran, I ran out of Batan. I may also have to reset the fish too. Yeah, there aren't any more, it seems like. Okay, this time I'm gonna go with Petite Fish. It doesn't seem like the Petite Fish is doing anything right now. Uh, I'm gonna try a Mini. Well, it did catch me something. Hmm. Only 49 points away from 200. Since the Petite Fish doesn't seem to be doing anything, I'll try the Potato Cake. No, my bait ran out. They stole my bait. Okay, I'll try the Minon. Hey, that worked. A Nanki. Ooh, the big one. So, oh, it only gave 12 fishing points, so I don't understand how the fishing points work. Because it feels like when they're big like that, they should give a lot more, but some of the small ones actually give a lot. Okay, so I only have three things of bait left. A carrot and two petite fish. I'm going to use the carrot. Okay, the fish here don't seem to be interested in the carrot. Uh, so that's enough for fishing for right now. Let's check out the fishing board, though. Exchange FP. So, I did all that because I wanted to exchange for some of this stuff. Matador. Oh, it's a slingshot, okay. Uh, Suki Kage. I'm thinking that what I want to get is a Topaz. Now, originally I intended to get a Topaz and a diamond and then i'd be able to like have both of those on a weapon you know temporarily increasing their stats but that's not going to work out so topaz first because of the increase in strength you know it's a pretty big increase and then i can worry about the rest of this stuff later and it didn't disappear from the list so that means that you can probably get an infinite number of them or eventually they might run out. I'm not gonna get anything else here. Uh, that said, let me go ahead and customize this topaz onto this. And now this bone rapier here has some decent stats. Uh, I may even equip that a little bit later. Okay, so this is where I'm going to be stopping. Uh, the next time I play, I'm going to be going to the next area, which I believe I can see from here. 
Uh, so that's Narone Village. That's the Divine Peace Cave. Okay. And this is Matataki Village. Okay, so can I go there from here? Yeah. Anyways. Yeah, so thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.